patches here. Uh, working on the dolphin again today. Got a good amount done last weekend. Um, it's too busy to film it, so you guys missed out. But I'll show you what we did here. And if you remember, this section was cut out. And a piece of wood that's got foam attached to it fills that gap in. Uh, it really bugged my back when I slept in it. Um, with that set up in the dolphin. So what I did is I extended it out two inches with this two by here. We got rid of all that carpet. Um, got something else happening there. I'll surprise you guys with later. Um, did some uh, uh, quarter inch underlayment. Filled that gap in. Uh, I'm gonna stain this probably tomorrow because it's gonna rain. And uh, did three quarter inch insulation with a three quarter inch ply on top, so it's sturdy and a lot more comfy bed. We're actually gonna see more room with all those cushions. So what we got going today is I got the fantastic fan vent out of the dolphin and. Uh, you can save the hardware for it, so we're going to swap that out today with uh, this old one. Got a little more circulation in here. Now that we actually have some nice weather, um, seems like uh, every weekend I have it's rain, and we actually had a really bad hailstorm. We got a little hail damage too, but uh, I'll show you it's not as bad as the house I'm parked next to, which is pretty surprising. I'm not even sure if it shows up, but the hood got little dings. And a few little dings on the top, but not too bad. I was driving my truck 30 miles an hour in that hailstorm. People got their cars totaled out. I didn't really get any dents or anything, just that little guy there. It's nice when your truck's old and nothing but steel. the hail damage my family's house oh, wow the sea breeze is right there oh, we got pretty lucky The old one came out pretty quick. Um, already got the fantastic fan dropped in. Uh, it's loose right now. Uh, now for the fun part of getting these wires into them. Hardest part's just sending it through. But did it once, so maybe it'll be easier this time. So we were a little short on the wiring, so I'll go get some real quick. That should get us to where we need to go. Did a butt splice connector and then went over it with some uh, heat shrink tubing. I'll show you guys that. So I got this little tool. I thought it was pretty cool. I'll show you guys. It's a burns o -matic. It's a four-in-one heat torch. You can put another end on it for a soldering tip. But it just works amazing with the shrink tubing. I've always just used, you know, a lighter and you know, burned it like that. And 
never got the best results, so I'll show you guys what this does. Just get really nice professional looking results. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so here's what we got. Just ran the wiring there and tied it in from this light. I slap that up, and you'll never know. It's hot today, so I really appreciate having the fan in here now, because it's only going to get hotter. Now I just got to get back on the roof and uh, get some butyl tape and some lap sealant. We'll be done. day but one of the big projects finally accomplished I'm just so excited about having this in here now I gotta clean the screen but you know it's in storage for a little bit it's got the three speeds uh, thermostat control and it can go intake or exhaust that little guy I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm going to clean up and call it a day. We'll do some more projects tomorrow. So, thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.